How is everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, that's it, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> this week I have my client Jonathan flying in from Ontario, California to get a cover up done. Welcome to Arizona. The tribals, um, I was 17, I was still in high school and one of my buddies had a, he told me he had a, an uncle that got a tattoo machine that he was doing free tattoos. Tribals were in, it was a long time ago, I thought I was the cool kid in, in high school walking around with a tattoo. Uh, I was still 17 and he, we did it in the, in, at the uncle's house um, and uh, obviously no paperwork needed, I wasn't even 18 so it was pretty shady. I hid it from my parents for a long time. Eventually my mom saw it and then she <laughs> snapped and it's been a long time and it was just time to turn that page and, and get something else that meet, that's more meaningful, right? So After having a great breakfast, Having a good talk, we decided on a concept, and the concept is a big ass tiger. <laughs> once I started thinking about getting a, a cover up, I started looking up uh, things, and then one time I stumbled upon one of the videos, and I just kept watching, you know, and looking for the new ones, and then. Uh, I feel like you are the right guy. I've sent like a couple of messages to other other people on, on Instagram and little things, but it either seems like they're not interested or they're like scared about it because I, I did share pic the pictures and but um, I've seen like the big cover-ups that, that on, on your channel and it's, it was just at another level, right? I'm looking for, where is he gonna plug this thing in, right? It's like, cause it, back then when I got tattooed it was like, I think it was like two cables running. There was like a little pedal or something. So uh, I was looking for that. And then when, when you said it was wireless, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's, it's been that long, right? At the same time. <laughs> yeah. So this week I invited the homie Antonio Garcia that works at Fifth Finger uh, to tell us his unique or funny story that happened to him while tattooing. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Roll it! What's up everybody? Um, this is Antonio Garcia. I'm a tattoo artist at Fifth Finger Studio in Glendale, Arizona. And I'm here to tell you guys a crazy story, something different that happened uh, throughout my tattoo career. Um, this was a few years back. It was just another day at the office. I was working on a portrait. Some dude walks in uh, through the back of the shop and everybody was just kind of tripping out because if you're familiar with tattoo shops, Nobody really comes into the back unless they know they know you or unless they work there. This guy asks everyone if any of us are parked in the back. And everybody just looked at each other and we're like, yeah, we're all parked back there. And uh, the dude goes, I'm gonna need you guys to uh, move your cars. He says, I'm detective so-and-so. And there's a body in one of the cars in the back. So we all kind of tripped out, you know, cause that's where we're all parked. So I get into my car. I look to the right and I notice that's where they're, the cops are at, you know, the detectives, the cops are all right next to the car that's a few spaces next to me. So I moved my car and I was just tripping out because I remember that day when I got to work, um, as soon as I got off, I smelled something and I thought it was a dumpster that was right close to us, you know, it turns out it was the body. You know, we all went back to work, we're tattooing, but at the same time, everybody was just like, the f like did this just happen you know so that was probably like something very unique that's happened i've never experienced that throughout my whole years of tattooing shout out to mr reyes thank you for having me and till next time i hope you guys enjoyed this story and thank you so much antonio for sharing i really appreciate it and don't forget to follow his social media please follow his social media Thank
For this project, I'm gonna be using two needles. The first needle is gonna be my 27 curve Mac, and my second needle is gonna be my 14 round liner, running my machine at 5.0. Whenever I'm tattooing, I don't have a specific pattern. I'm just going with the flow. I might drag my mag. I might do little circles. I might scribble with my liner. You never know. But whatever you do, make sure you have chemistry with your machine. Because if you don't, it doesn't matter what you do or try. It's never going to work. <laughs> I felt fluent on that one. Let me get a little... For this first tribal, I decided to start with my lightest tone to my darkest tone. The reason why is because I noticed it wasn't as dark or scarred, so I knew it wasn't going to be difficult to cover it up. Starting the second tribal, I realized that it was way darker than the first one. I could feel every single line, so I knew it was going to be a little bit more complicated, but I wasn't scared. I had to change my approach by mapping it out first with my darkest tone to make sure I wasn't losing the shape of the face or the contrast. Make sure you have more than one approach on doing a cover up because if you don't, best belief is going to be very difficult for you to complete the session and execute the cover up. Some areas it hurt a little more, but uh, it wasn't too bad. I was actually expecting it to hurt a lot more, yeah. Time for the white highlights, but first, let me apply this Vasicane to help out my client for these last couple minutes. I got you. Part of me said, uh, do it, part of me said no, and uh, now that I see that the end result, I'm very happy. Uh, and I'm very happy that uh, you took my submission and uh, put, took this thing to another level, man. Yeah, appreciate it. It was a successful day. I really like this tattoo. I couldn't be happier with the outcome. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe because I will pick one of you to sell you or, 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 or Venmo you some money so you can take your family or friends out to eat breakfast or dinner, whatever you want to get. It don't matter. Unfortunately, last week's winner did not get in contact with me. But it's okay. I hope you see this video. And if you do, still DM me and I still got you. For the people who don't know, I'm doing a scavenger hunt for the month of February here in Phoenix, Arizona. First person in finding all four clues will win a four x four free tattoo. So good luck. If you find the first clue, 
which is this one, make sure to take a selfie at the place that you found it and DM me your picture on Instagram. Hello, welcome to Paloma. Find your first clue here. Purchase any item on the menu, get your first clue, okay? Thank you. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and thank you guys for supporting me on a weekly basis. I really appreciate you and I'll see you guys next week. Peace! <laughs> I'm done.